all know who this is, don't you? It's a policeman. His name is Constable Brown, and he's setting off on his round of duties called a beat. Policemen have many duties, but the most important is to help people. Here is someone now who needs a helping hand. Busy traffic is very frightening when you grow old. But here is Constable Brown. He will stop the traffic and see her safely across the road. Thank you, Constable, for helping me. Another of a policeman's duties is to look after Pete's property for them. Mr. and Mrs. Thompson are away on holidays, so Constable Brown has been keeping an eye on their house for them. But why is the front door open? We must look into this. Has someone broken in? Windows are shut tight. Why, it's Mrs. Thompson herself. They came back a day early from their holidays, so there's nothing for Constable Brown to worry about after all. Constable for looking after our house while we were away. Goodbye. So Constable Brown sets off again on his beat. It's a lovely day for playing in the park. The flowers are pretty too. Anthony doesn't stop to think whether he is allowed to pick the flowers. Thinks she would like some flowers too. But here comes Constable Brown. It's his job to prevent people from breaking the law. He must explain to them that the laws are made for everybody's good. The flowers in the park belong to everyone. But what if we all picked the flowers? There would soon be none left for people to enjoy, would there? Now run off and don't do it again. We must all obey the laws. Constable Brown, too. Susan and Andrew have found a purse. There's no name on it and it's full of money. So they will give it to a policeman. There's Constable Brown across the road. Look right, look left, look right again. Now walk quickly across the road. If ever you find anything, it's right to do as Susan and Andrew are doing and give it to a policeman, because it's his job to look after lost property until the owner claims it. He will take your name and address, and if no one claims the purse, you will get the money in it. Mrs. Stone is worried and upset. Her little boy, Peter, wandered away from her while she was shopping, and she can't find him anywhere. She's afraid that something may have happened to him. There is our policeman. He will help her. 
I've lost my little boy. He wandered away from me. He's only three years old. Where did you lose him? Asked Constable Brown. It was down there, by the shop. When I came out of the shop, he was gone, and I can't find him anywhere. And he's so little, and in all the traffic. Well, don't worry. We'll find your little boy for you. Constable Brown and Mrs. Stone go to the police call box. Policemen use it to keep in touch with the police station in case of trouble. Constable Brown rings the station and reports the missing boy. The policeman there carefully writes down a description of Peter. Three years old, fair hair, brown eyes, wearing a blue jacket, grey trousers, and carrying a toy dog, and he is called Peter. We'll send out a message to the patrol cars straight away. Don't worry, Mrs. Stone. We'll see that no harm comes to your little boy. This is a police patrol car. It's always on duty in the streets, ready to help anyone in case of trouble. Now, they're receiving the message about Peter over their wireless. The policeman in the car is writing it down. He's carrying a toy dog, and he is called Peter. Now they will go to look for Peter near the place where he was lost. Who can this be? It's Peter. He thinks it's fun to be out by himself. But where am I? Wonders Peter. There's lots of traffic on the road. I want my mummy, cries Peter. But here comes the patrol car. They're looking out for Peter. Ah, there he is, I think, says the policeman. Is your name Peter? asks the policeman. You're not my mummy, says Peter. No, but look at my nice silver button. We go now to find Mummy. The patrol car will take Peter back to the station to wait for his mother. Here is Constable Brown arriving back at the police station with Mrs. Stone. And Peter is waiting for her, safe and sound, thanks to the watchful policeman. Don't forget Puppy. Goodbye, Mrs. Stone. Goodbye, Peter. And remember, children, that Constable Brown and all the other policemen are always ready to give you a helping hand and look after you.